Looking at our world from a theological perspective, this is the Theology Central Podcast, making Theology Central. Good afternoon, everyone. It is Saturday, February the 26th, 2022. It is currently 3.24 p.m. Central Time, and I'm coming to you live from the empty sanctuary of Victory Baptist Church right here in the middle of nowhere, Texas. Yes, the empty sanctuary of Victory Baptist Church right here in the middle of nowhere, Texas. But even though I'm in the middle of nowhere, because of technology, I push well, two buttons, to, to be to be very specific. I push two buttons, and then I'm live all around the world via the internet. We And uh, from uh, because of a number of different platforms. We go live all around the world, and we go live, and then we can talk about what's happening in the world and try to offer a biblical and theological perspective. We can do Bible study exercises. Tomorrow, when, when I'm here in this sanctuary, hopefully it won't be empty then. There'll be people here, and I stand behind the pulpit that's up there in front of me. I can, again, turn on the microphone, and by pressing two buttons on a computer right here behind me in the sound booth, we can go live and then present that preaching and that teaching to people around the world. Because of technology, you have access to more biblical teaching, more theology, more church history, more devotional messages than it, it, that Christians could have ever understood in the entire history of Christianity. You have more available to you on a, a single day than most Christ, than Christians would have ever had, a, a, you know, available to them their entire life as Christians in the past. What you have available to you is hard to even comprehend. My concern continues to be that with so much available that there's almost a, I, I, it almost works in reverse, right? You, you, you would think that the more available, the more people would be using it, right? And then we would see the results of that. More available, more Christians are more biblically illiterate than they've ever been. Christians are more theologically literate than they've ever been. Christians know church history better than any Christians have ever known church history in the entire history of the church. Because we have so much content, so much teaching available, you think that's exactly how it would have worked. But it seems to be working in reverse. The more stuff available, the more the church descends into apostasy, chaos, confusion, distraction, biblical illiteracy. It's almost like, in some ways, because when I was a younger Christian... I always think that the way it was going to play out, that I w- I w- I'm going to live, as, as we move closer and closer to the end times, I'm going to be alive and there's going to be a famine of God's word. People are not going to be able to find preaching. People are not going to be able to find teaching. It's going to be crazy. I better I better memorize the Bible because the time's coming. We won't even have the Bible. It, it, and, and that's kind of the way it was kind of presented to me. Well, here I am in 2022 and the opposite has happened. Bible study software all over the internet for free. You have the interlinear. You can look things up. You have concordances. You have Bible dictionaries. You have Bible encyclopedias, all for absolute free. Then you can pretty much download the entire history of Christianity on your phone. You can you can you can have all the writings of the church fathers, the Puritans, the reformers. You just you can you have it all available to you. We've got so much available to you that it's absolutely. We don't have a famine. We, we're 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 drowning. And all of the things available. And then when it comes to sermon and Bible teaching, there's literally so much that I, I, I can't even I can't even put it into any terms that, that that would make any sense. It's just absolutely unreal. I've I've said this many times. I can pull up the Edify Christian Podcast app right now. There's, I think, around about 1.5 million Christian podcasts right there on, on the Edify Christian Podcast app. Then we have Sermon Audio, and let me see. Let me pull up the numbers, because I don't want to give you the wrong numbers about what's going on on Sermon Audio. So give me, let me give you the numbers right here. All right, uh, here we go. Um, the numbers. Okay, Sermon Audio, 40,000 speakers. That's 40,000 broadcasters. Uh, and 2,180,802 sermons. Over 2 million sermons. That's just, you just take Edify Christian Podcast app 
and sermon audio. And that doesn't even, um, that doesn't even take into consideration all of the Christian podcasts that are available on all the different podcast apps, right? You, you can't even comprehend all of that content. And that doesn't even count, take into account Christian books, Christian commentaries, I, 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 Christian uh, textbooks. I mean, there's just so much. So with all of that content, you would think that the church should be stronger, more spiritual, more godly than it's ever been in its entire history. You would think that we would be living like during the glory, the, the golden age of Christianity. This would be, this would make, this would be the beyond the Reformation, beyond the Puritans, beyond any, beyond the Great Awakening. This would be beyond anything we've ever comprehended because the word of God is literally everywhere. But it, it seems like everything's going the wrong direction. Now, I'm just baffled by that. But again, because in my mind, it was going to be like churches are going to shut down. Nobody's going to have a Bible. It, it's, and it's like, no, it's the opposite. So I don't know why it's that way, but I know this. I've been talking about now, really kind of going back to the, I think the end of 2021, end of 2022, that I was going to do everything I can this year to try to point people to good content. Say, here you go. Go listen to this. So we've been doing a series called the Christian Podcast Spotlight, where I turn on the spotlight. In a sense, I turn on the microphone. I know it's not a big spotlight. Maybe our little flashlight. Go right there. Go subscribe to that podcast. Subscribe to that one. And then we will review an episode. And even it may be things that we disagree with, but things that I think are interesting and get you thinking about Bible and theology. Go, go listen to that. And one of the things that we, I, I, I challenge people to do is to send me their list of podcasts. Now, a, a couple of people participated, and I, I'm still trying to go through some of those lists, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to get to those episodes. Those episodes take a long time because when you review a podcast episode and you're analyzing it and critiquing it and, and recommending it, that sometimes takes two or three parts. So I always have to pick and choose when I'm going to do that. But that's one, and I still want you to do that. If you've got a list of Christian podcasts you listen to, email it to me, newsif at yahoo.com. If you have emailed me your list, and if I did not respond, I've seen your list, and I am getting to some of those episodes. I will get to them, okay, or some of those podcasts. But there's also been a very important development in 2022. Sermon Audio has completely changed everything. First, they have the Church One app, which they completely redid. I think it's Church, uh, it's the Church One app version 3.0, all right? The Church One app 3.0. Now, that's a great tool. We use that tool because basically it's a generic app. So you download the app and all you got to do is just type in the name of the broadcaster you want to follow. Like you can type in Theology Central, set it, turn on your notifications, and then basically it, the Church One app becomes the Theology Central app. That's a great tool. Use it. Even if you don't use it for us, that's great. Use it for your favorite broadcaster. Use it, okay? It's awesome. It works great. Um, and and it gives notifications and and you can follow everything. So download the Church One app. Obviously, if you just if, if you just find the Church One app in your app store of choice, just type in Theology Central, and then that that's it. We become your your selected broadcaster. Then go into the notifications setting and turn on all the not- notifications. You want them all on notices, live stream everything. And anytime I go live, you'll get a notification. And then you can listen to us. You can either listen to us on that app or you can just go to the Spreaker app. You can listen to us. Any, it, the thing is, it's got the best notification system that we can find, right? And it it doesn't cost us $170 a month to have an app. And so it's an absolute great tool. So that's a great tool. But Sermon Audio went a step further. They've completely redid their standalone app. It's called the Sermon Sermon Audio 2.0 app or Sermons 2.0. You should be able to find it in your app store of choice, Google or Apple. If you're using an Android device and you cannot find it, let me know and I will tell you how to find it. Basically what you have to do, this is the way it was set up. You go ahead and type in Sermon Audio 2.0 in the Google Play Store. If you find it that way, great. If you don't, you'll see the app for the Sermon Audio, I think it'll be like the Sermon Audio Classic for Android app. It's their old app. You go ahead and click on that, scroll to the bottom of the screen, and at the bottom, it'll say you may also like 
And then there it will be, Sermons 2.0 or Sermon Audio 2.0. Download the new one. Because basically with Sermon Sermon Audio 2.0, it's basically become like all the other podcasting apps. And that's a good thing because now you can follow your favorite broadcaster. You have a feed which will give you the new content from the broadcasters you follow, which is great. And they're going to very soon, hopefully soon, they're going to add notifications so you'll get notified whenever your favorite broadcaster gets any new content. We want you using that app because once again, Sermon Audio is a great source for this reason. One, you know at least all of the sermons that are posted on there, you know they at least meet a certain doctrinal standard. That's some good news considering how crazy it is. And just because the app is uh, now it's free for you to have a free account, It's now kind of entered into 2022 and I want more people using it because here's the thing. I want you to have available to you spiritual food. I just spent about 45 minutes talking about how messed up the world is where our only hope is in the things of God. Use the app, use the app. But here's what we want to do. You download the Sermon Audio, Sermon, Sermons 2.0, Sermon Audio 2.0 app and guess what's going to happen? You're going to see all of this content and you're not going to, and sometimes it it almost works the wrong way. Like you see all of the content and you should just be like, I've got so much, but sometimes you will see all the content. Like, I don't even know what to do. I don't even know what to watch. Some people will sit there and look at say Netflix and like, they just can't figure out what to watch or in a music streaming service. Ah, There's just so much. And sometimes it almost leads to more frustration and irritation where you finally just turn it off and go, you know what? I don't even know what to watch or what to listen to. So what we I suggested is let's create a list of the best broadcasters on Sermon Audio. I still want you to do that. I want you to download the Sermon Audio 2.0 app and just start listening to anything and everything. If you love the broadcaster, you think it's great stuff, then you just make a list. We want a list of 10. We want a list of 10. You can take, and, and, and if you're using the Sermon Audio 2.0 app, here, here, here's what you do. Once you get your list, go under library. You'll click on the library tab, go to followed broadcasters, and it's going to have them all right there. And you just take a screenshot, right? Here, here's my followed broadcasters and just do this. There you go. I just took a picture screenshot. There it is. And I can post that anywhere. Just send it to me, newsif at yahoo.com, newsif at yahoo.com. You don't have to say a word. You don't have to type anything. And I'll look and go, oh, I've never heard of that one. Oh, I've never heard of that one. Oh, I've never heard of that one. And I'll go listen. And if I love them, guess what? Then we'll make a list and we're going to try to create the list of 10. I've already given you my list. Let me give it to you one more time. Albert Moeller, the briefing. Uh, Ambassador uh, Baptist College. BMA Theological Seminary, Bob Jones University, Central Baptist Church, College Grove Grace Church, Detroit Baptist Theological Seminary, Emmanuel Missionary Baptist Church, Greenville Seminary at Mount Mount Olive, Mid-American Reformed Seminary, Pensacola Christian College, Puritan Reformed Theological Seminary, Reformed Presbyterian Theological Seminary, Southern Baptist Theological Seminary, the King James Bible Seminary, the Worldview in Five Minutes, and of course, then us. But here's the thing. I've, I haven't even gone beyond just the seminaries. I just wanted to start with the seminaries and Bible colleges because I like knowing what, where we're going. So, I, But the point is, there they are. And if I go to my feed, click on feed, tip, uh, tap on feed, then it'll show you all the new content that I've received. So I'll just give you one to go listen to right now. Um, let's see if I can find it. Uh, yeah, uh, if, you go, if you subscribe to Southern Baptist Theological Seminary, Southern Baptist Theological Seminary, Dr. Albert Moeller just preached a sermon on Jude 3. Well, that's very helpful because that supplements. I I'll, I'll, I mean, he wouldn't see it as supplements. He would say that he's the main course and I'm the supplement. But the point is, is if you've been listening to us on our study on doctrine, doctrine part three, we covered Jude 3. So you can now go listen to Dr. Albert Moeller on Jude 3, and that will supplement, in a sense, what we have discussed. So the point is, is there something to go listen to? Use it. Use it. But we have to work together. I can't listen to everything on Sermon Audio. Okay, I can't listen to everything on the Edify Christian Podcast app. I can't listen to every Christian podcast. 
But what you're listening to, you don't have to do any extra work. You're already telling me what you're listening to. Now, if you haven't ever been on Sermon Audio, well, just start listening. That's all you do. Just start. And if you go, I don't really know about that one. Okay. Next. And all of a sudden you're like, oh, this is all. If if all, if you send me a screenshot and all you have is one broadcast you're following, that's fine. Because if it's one that I've never heard, I'll go listen to it. Oh, that is some really good stuff. Let's follow that one. And it doesn't even have to be that you agree with everything. It can just be that you think it really gets you to think and and it, it gets you into the word of God. So if you want to help us do that, please, and at some point we'll turn on the microphone and go, here is the 10 that we've come up with. And it'll be based on just, well, it's either going to be based on my list or your list. Right now, the uh, the Christian uh, podcast spotlight ep- episodes that we've been doing, that's really been primarily mine, but I've got some that people have suggested that I definitely need to get to. And a lot of people suggested ones I already have on my list to get to. But um, this one will be very easy because instead of necessarily reviewing all of them, what I probably will do is just give the list and just say, here is the list, go go follow them. And then we may review some of them as well. But if you're looking for something today, a Southern Baptist Theological Seminary via the Sermon, Sermon Audio 2.0 app, Jude 3. It's an interesting, he, he, he definitely, uh, he, he builds up this very interesting way of introducing the subject by talking about how there's so many different kinds of churches. So what is the faith? It's a very important question. So I, I wanted to review it today, but I didn't, I didn't have time uh, to get to it. But um, there you go. And uh, there's also, I've been listening, I, I've got to go back and listen to it again from Central Baptist Church. They've done a series called Reasons for Revival, and there's at least four parts. And that's uh, maybe something important to listen to too, considering the state of the world right now. But uh, there you have it. Download those apps, Church One app, follow us. That would be great. Download the Sermon Audio 2.0 app and start listening and then let me know. And, or you can, if, you can either do this. You can send me a, uh, you can go under library and take a, a screenshot of your uh, followed uh, broadcast or just go to your feed. I love seeing this. Go to your feed, do a refresh and just, what, I want to see what's in your feed. Because I'll be like, oh, that looks like a good sermon. That looks like a good sermon. Okay. So do that. All right, I'm going to stop. So uh, download the Church One app, Church One, all run together, Church One. Then once you have the app downloaded, just search for Theology Central. Sermon Audio 2.0, that's what you look for in the app store, Sermon Audio 2.0. Download that. And uh, let's see if we can make sure that we, not listen, not only do you have good spiritual food, to part, you can share it with other people so that they can have some good spiritual food because the world is falling apart and our only hope is in the things of God. So let's get our mindset there. Let's have these resources just readily available. I mean, everyone keeps talking. I've I've heard my whole life, well, the day is coming that they're not going to, they're going to shut everything down and we're not going to have access to this and the day is coming. And and I've, I've been being told over and over and over, Well, instead of worrying about what's coming, how about let's take advantage of what we have right now? Because a lot of Christians keep telling me all the bad stuff is coming, don't seem to do anything with the stuff that they have currently available to them, okay? It just seems like they just want to talk about how it's all going to go, it's all going to get really bad. Okay, well, what are you doing with the stuff you have now? All right, now we have the, just think about it. We have the Spreaker app where we go live. We have the theologycentral.net pod page. We have the VBC website. We have the VBC pod page. We have the VBC podcast, the Theology Central podcast. Uh, I mean, we have the Bible memory app. We have the Church One app. I mean, we just, just all the stuff available just for, uh, for us. It's just, it's just, I mean, like there was a time that churches didn't have that, able to get all of their content out to everyone. I don't know why we're not taking more advantage of everything. And our content is everywhere. We're on Pandora. We're on Spotify. I mean, after oh, Amazon Music, Audible. I mean, uh, you name it. We're on every platform literally on the face of the earth. And even though I'm coming to you from the middle of nowhere. So, and there's people everywhere who need some spiritual food. So, let me help them find, even if it, look, look, here's the thing. If someone listens to this and they don't follow me, they don't listen to me. That's okay. 
they can go find some good sermon somewhere and get fed. That's perfectly okay. I have no problem promoting everything else. I, look, I'll promote everything else, and it means everyone stops listening to me because they found something better. Well, that's fine. Wonderful. I mean, if, 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 for, if that's not the mentality, then there's no point in even doing what we're doing. All right, I'm going to stop there. I just wanted to just give everyone that challenge again. I want to see your favorite broadcasters. I want to see what's in your, uh, your feed there on the, on the Sermon Audio 2.0 app. I'm refreshing mine. No new content in my feed currently. All right. So if, you, if something is in yours, let me know what it is. All right. And uh, they go and, and those in the Discord channel, you can post just whenever you listen to anything, because that's that's the way I try not to post everything I listen to because I don't want to drive people crazy. But uh, I, yeah, I, I like because I'm like, oh, I haven't heard that. OK, let me go listen to that. Let me go. That's oh, that was really good. That was really that was really convicting. I, I was w- w- uh, watching the video. Uh, the church is in, where is the church located? I don't remember what state, I think it's North Carolina. And uh, they were doing like their, I don't know what it was like a, I don't know what kind of Bible study it was, but it was interesting because all the people were like answering questions and it was really good. And uh, I got to find that. It was, it was, there was some interesting stuff in that, but I like there, I'm always watching or listening to something. So there you have it. Just want to get everyone to participate in that because Maybe by participating, you'll stumble across something that's really beneficial to you spiritually and really helpful. And then when you, when you find it, you, you can email me and go, hey, you know what? I thought your whole idea was stupid. I thought it was a waste and absolute time. And I thought you were an idiot for even suggesting it. But you know what? I came across this podcast and I came across this sermon and it was the best thing I've ever heard. In fact, it was so good. I'm going to stop listening to you. So thank you so much for telling me about it. Hey, that's great. I, I literally, I don't care because uh, then uh, I helped you spiritually. Maybe the last thing you ever listened to me was telling you to do something that you thought was stupid. And then it led you to finding some teaching that was absolutely essential to your spiritual life. Fine. You move on. That's great. At least the last thing I did was help you spiritually. So that's the way I view it. Okay. Instead of looking at everything as competition, see everything is trying to hopefully you know, hopefully trying to build people up and pointing them in the same direction, right? So I know sometimes in the podcasting, broadcasting world, it's like, well, if I tell them about that other broadcast, then they won't listen to me. Ugh, whatever. I, I, I don't, if we're going to go that direction, we just stop. So, all right. I'm going to go home for this today. It's been a couple of hours here. Hopefully we got a couple of good things done. Plenty of content to listen to. And uh, well, listen, let me know what you think. You can email me newsif at yahoo.com. Everyone have a great evening. God bless.